What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be trying some of the most viral TikTok food products. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I'm always scrolling on the For You page and I come across food products. For example, the Fruit Riot Frozen Sour Grapes or the Trader Joe's Kimbap and many other things that we're gonna be trying in today's video. I keep seeing these food products all over the For You page that I was like, that's it. We need to go to the grocery store, pick everything up and give it a try and see if it's good or if it's not good. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's try the food. For the first food product, we have, of course, iced coffee. You guys know that I love my coffee. Now listen, this instant coffee went super viral because if you guys didn't know, in Mexico, they have the Nescafe regular coffee, but this is for iced coffee, guys. I saw people reselling it in Amazon and eBay for up to 20 to $30. I was like, no check the lace sauce. I was like, yeah, literally for $23. No, thank you. I love coffee, but not that much. But I did find it at my local grocery store for $8. And I was like, okay, that's more like it. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. We're gonna start with a little bit of milk, of course. That should be enough. Let's do a spoonful of the instant coffee because love my caffeine. Let's shake it. Oh. That looks so good. You know what? I'm not even gonna strain it. We're just gonna throw it right into the cup. My mouth is watering right now. We're gonna sweeten it up with a little bit of Chobani. Just a splash. Give it a nice mix. You know what this reminds me of? The whipped coffee from like 2020. Who remembers that? Comment down below. Cheers, let's try it. Wow, whoa. Okay, shaking the coffee, it's a must. It's so creamy, so good. I can still taste the coffee flavor, which I love. And actually, this cookie dough creamer is fire. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I found this instant iced coffee. I'm going to rate this a 9.5 out of 10. Next, we're gonna try the Fruit Riot Frozen Sour Grapes and the Mango. You guys have no idea how many stores I had to go to. I even went to one store, guys, and there was a girl, like we were literally right next to each other, and I was like, move! Jesus Christ! Not girl, not girl, these are mine, these are mine. Kid you not, I went to like eight different stores and I still cannot find the pineapple. So we only have the sour grapes and the sour mango, but good enough. Let's give these a try and let's see what the whole hype is about. Oh my God. Do you guys see how huge the grape is? It's basically a frozen grape covered in sour powder. So let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <coughs> Whoa. Why did my mouth just watered? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Your taste buds go through so many stages. It's frozen, it's cold, the grape is sweet. I can see why they're sold out everywhere. I'm gonna rate these 10 out of 10. Now let's try the mango. Ooh, look at that. Cheers. Ooh, mm. okay. Grapes are good. But the mango, it's where it's at. The mango flavor with the sourness and also a little bit of sweetness in there is just so good. Again, I can see why it's so hard to find these and they're literally sold out. Now I really wanna find the pineapple because I feel like the pineapple is going to be very good. I'm gonna rate the mango 10 out of 10. If I had to decide between these two, definitely try the mango one. For this next food product, we have Lava Shack. If you guys don't know what Lava Shack is, it's a Persian fruit leather and it went super viral on TikTok. For today, we have this prunella and then we also have the sour cherry flavor. I also have some pomegranate and I did get this sour cherry so we can use the little sauce so we can put it inside of the fruit leather. So let's go ahead and let's try the sour cherry first. I'm gonna cut a thick piece. And it does come with this little wrapper paper, which is so satisfying to like take it off. It's like a perfect ASMR sound. We're gonna take some of the pomegranate and then we're gonna take some of the sour cherry. I've actually never tried the sour cherry, so I wanna see what it tastes like. Oh, ooh, that is so good. Let's take some of the sauce, perfect. And cheers. 
crunch. Mm. Adding the pomegranate inside gives it a nice little crunch and also it's like a little bit even more sour and sweet. Sour cherry is good. I'm gonna rate this one 9.5 out of 10. Now we're gonna try the prunella flavor. Again, adding a little bit of pomegranate, some of the sour cherry. Let's try it. Ooh, this flavor is definitely more sour than the sour cherry, but I like it. It's really good. I can taste all of the fruit from the Lava Shack. It's so hard to decide because I feel like they're both really good, but if I had to choose one, I'll probably choose the sour cherry. Next, we're gonna be trying ice cream sandwiches, but these are not your typical ice cream sandwiches. I grew up eating like the chocolate and vanilla ice cream sandwiches that are like about this thin. These ice cream sandwiches, guys, are thick. Literally, it says here, chomp size. So I saw these all over TikTok and I was like, oh my God, I need to find these. And turns out that I was able to find them at a grocery store that's near me. So I got two different flavors. I really wanted the banana pudding that I saw and also the strawberry shortcake, but they were sold out. So I was like, let's just give these a try. So we have a cookie monster, which is a chocolate chip cookie and cookie crumb infused vanilla ice cream. Then you have chocolate blackout, which is chocolate brownie cookie and chocolate ganache swirl ice cream layered with chocolate cake. Uh, uh, oh my God, that sounds so good. Which one should we try first? Cookie or this, this one? Chocolate. Chocolate? I love chocolate. Okay, okay, let's try this one. Look at this. Do you see wow. that? But I love how you get so much ice cream, but you still get like a decent amount of like the sandwich part. You know like what I mean? The perfect ratio. Exactly. Wait, should I take a bite? Do you want to share? Or you want like a full size? I'll take half of it. So okay, you okay. Take a bite. We'll just cut it in half. All right, perfect. Wait, I just noticed you can see the little pieces of the chocolate chip. Can you see it? <gasps> okay, uh, here's your piece. Oh my god. Shut up. Why does it taste like a cake? Like you're eating chocolate cake. Exactly. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, but I could like literally finish this entire thing. It's not too chocolatey. The ice cream is so creamy. I know the perfect way to describe this. Think about it as a brownie cut in half and put some good chocolate ice cream in the middle. That's really good. Let's try Cookie Monster now. Ooh, okay. Okay, look at that. That looks so good. Look at all the ice cream. Cheers. That's the one. That's the one. This is the one. That's the one. This is the one. Mm -hmm. The chocolate is also really good. But like I said, I'm not a huge chocolate lover. But it's still good. Don't get me wrong. If you love chocolate, that one's definitely for you. Overall, I'm going to rate these ice cream sandwiches 10 out of 10. All right, guys, we're gonna be trying some Olipop. Listen, I swear every other mukbang that I see on TikTok, people are always drinking Olipop. I'm like, hmm. What's going on? Like, is there something I don't know? Why is everyone just all of a sudden drinking Olipop? So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. So from what I heard, it's a prebiotic soda and it's supposed to taste like a soda, but like healthier and it's like better for you. I don't know. So we're gonna see. We have Tropical Punch. We also have a Dr. Goodwin, which I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Dr. Pepper. Y'all know that I love my Dr. P, so we're gonna test that out. And then we also have classic root beer. Do you like root beer? I hate root beer. Yeah, me neither. So I think we should just start with the root beer and just get it out of the way. It smells like licorice. Oh my God, why am I doing this? All right, cheers. Oh no. Mm -mm. Okay, maybe it's just because I don't like root beer, but let also- Let me try it, let me try it, let me try it. You're not gonna like it. You're not. It's not bad. Bruh. I mean, it tastes like root beer. If you don't like root beer, you're not gonna like it. But it's not bad. It tastes pretty good. For me, I don't like it. Also, I feel like it has like that artificial like sweetener sugar. Yeah, you know, like zero sure. sugar. Okay, let's try Tropical Punch. Okay, smells good. <clears throat> but it does not taste good. Try it. Let's see. It That's just a tastes no like a healthy soda. Let's try Dr. Goodwin. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Okay, you know what? This might be my favorite one out of these three. It tastes almost like, definitely doesn't taste like Dr. Pepper, but I can kind of see why they say it's like a Dr. Pepper dupe. Definitely does taste a little bit more on the healthier side. I feel like this one over some eyes wouldn't be bad. Like I'll be able to drink the entire thing. Maybe I need to try another flavor. Comment down below what's your favorite Olipop flavor. But overall, I'm gonna rate Olipop like a solid six out of 10.
Up next, we have the Trader Joe's Kimbap. This right here, guys, is a Korean tofu and vegetable seaweed rice roll. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this, so I was like, you know what? Let me buy it, and let's go ahead and let's try it out. Now, I was very skeptical because this is frozen, but apparently you just pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and that's it. So let's go ahead and let's see. You do have to cut a corner. We're gonna pop it in the microwave for two minutes. There we go, and while this is cooking, let's try the next food product. So if you're on the side of candy TikTok, I'm pretty sure you've heard about Swedish candy. I did try to order it and in one website it was gonna take like up to three weeks and also in some websites it was like $30. I was like, $30 for candy? That's insane. So you wanna know what? I saw on TikTok that a girl was like, run to Ikea because they have Swedish candy. So I went to Ikea and each bag was $2. I was like, okay, now we're talking. So Swedish candy guys, it's all natural flavors and it's gelatin free. So the texture of the gummies are supposed to be very different from the gummies that we have here in the US. We also have these here and then these other gummies. First, let's try these gummies right here. These are gummies and strawberry, black currant, and raspberry blueberry flavors. All right, let's try one. Do you want one or no? Yeah, I'll take one. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Very chewy. Yeah, they're really chewy. Mmm, I love the flavor though. It's mm. good but it's extremely chewy. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it though. I really like the chewy consistency. It's good and it tastes like healthy. Not yeah. too, right? Yeah. Let's try the sour gummy with cola flavor. One for you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's better. Oh, this tastes, might sound weird, but it tastes like lemonade mixed with Coke. Mm -hmm. Again, I love how the cola flavor is not too artificial. Between these two, I think I like this one so far better. Now let's try the gummies with cola flavor, except these are not sour. Let me give you guys a close up so you guys can see what they look like. I think they're little mousses, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. I like the other one better. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. These are extra chewy. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Mm -mm. No, yeah. Overall, Swedish candy, I'm gonna rate it a 9.5 out of 10. I think I actually like these gummies better than the ones that I usually eat. Okay, guys, it's been a few minutes. I let the kimbap cool down, and now we're going to try it. I really wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so fire. Let's take it out. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. I'm also going to be trying it with this sriracha sauce that I found from Bulldog. Oh my God, guys, it is so freaking good. Perfect, let's try it. Take a piece out so you guys can see that's what it looks like. Looks so good, let's dip it in the sauce. Cheers. Speechless, this is so good. Wow, with the sriracha sauce? Y'all, by the way, I got the sauce at H Mart. Can I do 11 out of 10? <laughs> Can I do that? Because it's so good. Mmm. Wow. If you're ever at Trader Joe's and you see the frozen kimbap, don't underestimate it. Get it and try it because it's definitely worth it. Up next, we're gonna be trying these pineapple gummies and also these 4D fruit gummy juicy burst strawberry. They're not like your typical gummies. These have like juice in the middle. So I was like, ooh, sign me up. Let's see what they're all about. First, let's try the strawberry ones. I'm not even gonna ask you. Here you go, you can have one. Look at that. All right, cheers. You should cut it in half. Oh, like this? It's kind of hard. Where's the juice? Is there no juice? Wow, Bruh. do you see that little dot there? That's a scam. All right, well, All right let's just try it. Cheers. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That's good. I was wrong. I don't think I like properly cut it in half the way I was supposed to, but as soon as you bite into it, it's like Ksh. Like a gusher. Exactly, like a gushers. I do like the strawberry flavor. Now let's try the pineapple. Oh my oh. God, these are so cute. These remind me of SpongeBob. Cheers. For some reason, I want to dip these in chamoy. With the mm -hmm. Oh my God. Especially the pineapple ones. Mm -hmm. I feel like the pineapple has more juice than the strawberry ones. And I also feel like the pineapple is more refreshing. I'll definitely buy the pineapple again compared to the strawberry ones. But overall, I'm going to rate these 8 out of 10. 
Up next, we're gonna be trying some of the most viral Trader Joe's snacks. By the way, comment down below what is your favorite thing to get whenever you go to Trader Joe's so the next time that I do some shopping, I can pick it up and give it a try. So first we have these, which are chili spice mango. These look fire. Then we have these, which are supposed to be Takis dupe. These are real corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavor. Kid you not, whenever I went to go buy these, there was only three bags left. I got one and then I saw a lady walking to the checkout aisle and she literally just had two of these bags in her hand she just walked into trader joe's for these and i was like okay that lets me know that i think these are gonna be fire so let's go ahead and let's try the mango slices first here's the close-up Ooh, that's a thick mango slice it's pretty evenly covered with the chili powder cheers It's good, but it's not what I expected. I can't really taste the mango flavor. Mm. I can definitely taste the chili flavor because it's kind of spicy, but it's lacking mango flavor. Hopefully we have better luck with the Takis dupe. They smell like Takis. They definitely don't look like Takis. Let me show you. This is what I mean. They look like they don't have no flavor. Like they look like plain, if that makes any sense, but let's try them. Never mind, I take it back. Whoa. They look like they don't have a lot of flavor compared to the Takis, but they have so much flavor. I love how I can really taste the lime. And it's also a little bit spicy. Mmm. Mmm. These are actually really good. Between the mango and the chips, I'm definitely gonna say these are better. Overall, I'm gonna rate these snacks 8.5 out of 10. For our last food product, we have the not fried chicken. You heard it right. This is ice cream in the shape of fried chicken. I have been wanting to try this for such a long time, guys, but it was only sold online and it was $110 for a bucket of fried chicken. And I was like, I'm not spending $110 on ice cream. Are you joking? So then I found it in my local grocery store. It was $6. Still a little bit pricey, but better than 110. And I was like, you know what? This is it. I've always wanted to try it. Let's just go ahead pick it up and give it a try. This is basically, it has a waffle ice cream, chocolate cookie bone, caramelized white chocolate, and corn flakes. It's supposed to look like fried chicken, so let's see. What wow. heck? That literally looks like fried chicken. The detail is insane. Let's go ahead and let's take a bite. Wow, cornflakes, ice cream, chocolate. Mmm, wow. I have to admit, it's actually pretty good. The whole fried chicken concept is really cool. I'm gonna rate this ice cream 8.5 out of 10. Do I think it's worth the $6? Not really, but it is pretty good, don't get me wrong. But guys, I'm honestly so stuffed. I feel like I ate so much and I tried so many things that I've been wanting to try for such a long time. I'm going to end the video right here because I cannot eat anymore. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can keep on growing. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. I seriously love y'all so, so much. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah.